Reuters uh, quoting North Korea's state-run KCNA news agency saying that North Korea will need to reconsider its upcoming summit uh, with U.S. President Donald Trump if his administration insists on the North giving up its nuclear program and that it'll never engage in economic trade with the U.S. in exchange for giving up its nukes. Uh, KCNA going on to say the North rejects Libya-style denuclearization of North Korea and that Trump will remain a failed leader if he follows in the footsteps of previous U.S. presidents and, in other words, continues pushing this new denuclearization line. Now, all of this comes after the North blasted the U.S. and South Korea for continuing on with the planned military drills. Uh, Exercises leader Kim Jong-un had earlier said he wouldn't object to. Well, let's talk this all through with Sean King, Senior Vice President of Park Strategies, joining us live on the line from New York. Um, Sean, I know that you're following this incredibly closely, but w what does it all mean to you? I mean, is this just a delaying tactic in your view? Well, listen, I have no special insight because we're all best in best uh, guessing the best we can but as martin suggested on the lead in this is classic north korean playbook uh, i think that this thing was kind of going too well for them and that pompeo may have freaked them out a bit on face the nation on sunday where he said that america was ready to invest in north korea i think that was like whoa these americans are actually serious the thing is kim cannot open up economically because then he just becomes the second rate south korea and then after that what reason does the north korean state have to exist so i think things were actually moving faster than north korea ever expected and this is sort of their passive aggressive excuse to maybe get out of it well wow. sean uh, you know the the uh, analogy and the reference to libya style denuclearization is, is kind of important and i want to spend a bit of time talking about that uh, of course that's the line that uh, folks like john bolton have been pushing for some time now referring to the 0304 uh, agreement a diplomatic agreement for libya to do away with this nuclear program much smaller in scale i know but is the thing that maybe is freaking uh, North Korea out now, uh, and the reason they're, they're talking about uh, the, the Libyan-style denuclearization is, uh, is it because of what happened to Libya uh, <laughs> after they agreed to this plan? Well, I think that North Korea has made clear through what they've leaked themselves and what they've told China, or what we hear they've told China, is that they want a phased denuclearization, if they really believe in denuclearization as we think of it anyway. But they want a phase for phase where they get certain incremental benefits or U.S. troop withdrawals, which would make me very nervous. Where, mm. depending on who you're talking to in the administration, I'm going to go with Bolton, because that's where I ideologically feel closest. Uh, he wants it up front, and then we'll talk about benefits. And obviously that would could mean the end of the North Korean regime, because... North Korea needs to justify this war footing to keep itself separate from the South. And without the nukes as cover, should it ever want to coerce or invade the South again, it really has nothing to bail themselves out. So, mm. uh, yeah, I mean, I can understand why North Korea doesn't like the Libya angle. This is the North Koreans moving exceptionally quickly. Now, ho, ho, hold on there. Uh, first of all, those <laughs> people shouldn't have been in jail. <laughs> Easy. Those people shouldn't have been jailed to begin with. And yeah. five people came out of North Korea during the Obama administration. It didn't mean they were ready to move then. And I, should have, I thought that Trump should have made their release a precondition before agreeing to the summit. But we're past that now. Uh, and the test site, you know, I hear that it imploded. And it's already served its purpose of showing they have a nuke. They've used it six times. And who's to say that's the only test site? Let's also remember they destroyed the Yongbyon uh, plutonium uh, tower in 2008, and that didn't mean a hill of beans. So these are classic diversionary moves to try and get us to move. I think this could be an attempt uh, by them to see how far they can push Trump, test Trump as to how badly he wants it, how bad he'll bend. Again, they see South Korea as an illegitimate colonial puppet state. The reason I was okay with Trump accepting Kim's invitation was it came through the South, but they may think they've got what they want from the South. They're talking to the U.S., so screw them. That's why they canceled the meetings today with the South. I, th I think they're testing us or they want to put the brakes on things. I kind of want to put the brakes on things, too, because I was getting nervous with some of the rumors coming out of D.C. that if they gave up a few nukes, we'd start taking some troops out of the South, which is the beginning of the end of South Korea and also removes the tripwire to mainland Chinese expansion mm. in East Asia. Now, that's another show for another day. 
Uh, but I think we all need a sober rethink of what's going on here. And today is a very healthy wake-up call. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.